Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR has declared their scorecard, although the final result is not yet released till the time like I am recording this video. So the final cutoff, the result is not yet declared by CSIR, but uh, the scorecard is already there. Okay, you can, if you have given exam, you can download your scorecard and look upon how much marks you have got. So this video is for those who have seen their scorecard and those who can see that their marks are short and it's not going to meet the cutoff and they want to prepare for the next exam okay so i'm going to talk about the way of like a effective way how you can approach the next exam and uh, it's a kind of strategy video you can consider but i will call it a targeted preparation strategy okay now why i'm calling it like that you will understand throughout the video okay see when we talk about the exam when we talk about strategy for the exam there are various ways of approaching it uh, you will find many ways and you will even find my like my videos older videos where i am suggesting different uh, ways of approaching this exam but one way which i have found very effective and uh, like the one which has worked for many students that's what i'm going to share in this particular video okay that's a targeted approach for the exam so in case if you have given the exam and if you have a scorecard for that then you have an advantage above those who have not given the exam and those who are going to appear for the first time you have advantage that now you have a scorecard of yours you have prepared for the last cycle and you know that how much marks you have got section wise okay and based upon that you can strategize your preparation for the next one see six months or to be frank this is february already so you have march april may and june so well, like technically speaking you have only four months uh, four and a half months that's all you have for the next exam okay so uh, like the way how you can approach for this exam if you just go with the traditional method or just the old school way of just starting start to studying from basic just blindly you know uh, either reading book or watching videos or doing anything blindly just with, with, without any strategy is not going to work you have to strategize your preparation and you have to target out your preparation okay you have to do a targeted strategy now what exactly it is you have to look upon your weak zones and strong zones and you should be aware about that there is nobody who can generally tell you that this is the strong zone of majority of the student this is a weak zone of majority of the student it depends it is very custom uh, it is very different for each and every student so for every student uh, their strong zones their weak zones uh, their uh, like uh, the scoring zones and their uh, like negative scoring zones all are different okay so you have to like you have to analyze your scorecard and based upon that you have to see now apart from a scorecard your scorecard does not tell you that how many negative marking you have done or how many mistakes you have done which question or which section you have done mistakes so these are the uh, these are the things which does not comes in the scorecard right but you have given exam and you already know that which question you did wrong uh, you must have downloaded your question paper or the response sheet right so from there you can do that so this is the time there are many students who prefer not to seeing the scorecard or they just you know because of the emotional thing that they have got less marks so they, they they think that okay i will not look upon my scorecard but that is not going to help in any way okay you should take the advantage of it you should analyze your scorecard and i have been talking about it every year and many students who have followed it they have responded me that it has worked for them what you have to do you have to analyze the scorecard and you have to analyze your response sheet and you have to look upon what are your strong zones or strong points and what are your weak zones or weak points okay now strong zones it could be anything okay does, you cannot say that organic chemistry is strong point for me or physical i'm i'm good at physical chemistry i am physical chemistry is strong no it's not like that you have to be specific with the topic it can happen that in uh, in the physical chemistry you are good at various different topics but let's say you are not good at quantum chemistry or you are not good at thermodynamics so you have to mark topic wise that which topic is not a strong zone or it's a weaker zone of yours and which are the stronger zones so now when you have done this when you have once you have written down so this thing you have to do before starting your profession don't just go and blindly start you know studying uh, from the scratch okay that is not going to help you have to first of all strengthen down your weak zones then only you can show a very good leap from your previous score to the next score because every time if you are giving exam again and again and you are just getting marks very similar marks let's say you are getting 60 then 65 then 70 something like that 
so that means your strategy is not good okay or you are not working upon your weak zones so that's why i'm telling all these things okay what you have to do you have to write down or you have to note down what are your weak zones and those weak zones means those weak topics okay so from physical chemistry note down the topics from where you are not able to do questions or where you have done a lot of uh, silly mistakes or you have done a lot of incorrect questions and you have to be honest with yourself you have to analyze your scorecard you have to analyze your response sheet both of them okay same goes for physical chemistry uh, same goes for organic chemistry same goes for inorganic chemistry and once you have uh, written all those topics see it, it is quite possible of course i have already said this that you can take two of those and you can work upon them high like with full efficiency like you can either take inorganic and physical you can take inorganic and organic or you can take organic and physical any two of them and you can work upon them with high efficiency you can take the third one and take selective topics from there so this is strong and weak zones i'm telling you that if you have studied physical chemistry and still you are not able to do questions from thermodynamics or you are not able to do questions from quantum chemistry in that case this is a big reason to worry okay same goes for organic chemistry people like if you are good at organic chemistry if you have taken organic chemistry as one of your topic of uh, of high efficiency where you have given a lot of time to study organic chemistry but still you are struggling with the questions of let's say reagents or with the question of stereochemistry in that case you have to work upon them so first thing is to like make a note of those topics which you have studied for the exam but still were not able to do question or did wrong uh, or did incorrect questions from there make a note of those topics and start from those topics okay so when you are starting your preparation first you have to strengthen down these weak zones okay so initially you have to start from there you have to work upon them you have to build up your confidence on them you have to solve many questions re related to that topic uh, you can either go for topic wise questions solve uh, for those questions uh, for those topics or you can solve questions from back of the book it depends totally upon you okay and by the way if you want to prepare physical chemistry and you are uh, like having trouble getting with that so we have launched our own course on physical chemistry for csir june 2024 exam that's our beta batch and in case if you are interested to join our classes those are available on our app and on our website so the link is there in the description of this video you can just simply log in and purchase the course and you can start your preparation in this beta batch you are going to get detailed lectures along with that you will get lecture notes along with that you will get mock test and you will get topic wise questions as well so all in all it's going to help you to strategize your preparation for physical chemistry now coming back to the topic of the video so basically uh, as i was telling that you have to first of all strengthen those topics which you are weak at or which you have done a lot of mistake and then you have to revise those topics which you are good at okay so in that way you will be able to build up those um, blocks or build up those gaps which you were not able to do in the last exam and then only you can see a uh, you know a evident change in the marks of the for the next exam so that is like rule of thumb you can say when you start your strat uh, preparation so these things generally people you know they overlook it or they don't look upon it they don't uh, uh, they don't strategize their preparation in this way so i thought of just reminding you all and just telling you about this particular thing that because you have your scorecard and your response sheet now i don't know till how long it will remain on the website it is very much uh, like i'm just suggesting you that download your response sheet and scorecard both analyze them and then do your targeted strategy or targeted preparation okay that's how you can see a relative change in your marks from the last one and the upcoming one so that's all for this i'll be making more videos related to the preparation strategy with some more tips and tricks so in case if you are someone who is preparing for the next exam please do subscribe to the channel and uh, that's all from my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care